Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Uh, I have one question and one suggestion for you, Mr. Zakir. So number one question, in Islam, we have many mazhab or iman. Because of this different teaching of different ideas created, although all based on Islam brought by the messenger and the God, al Quran, but the late followers of this uh, mazhab has already diverted the ideas and made the wrong teaching. So the problem is now arises where people try to strengthen their ideas and, and ideologies and teaching. So right now, the world is not at peace. So what do you think of that problem? Thank you. The brother has asked a question which has already been answered in my lecture. The brother asked a question that we have madhabs and because of that, the difference of teaching, so what is the solution? I told you all the four IMMAs, may Allah have mercy on all four of them. There were many IMMAs, the more four famous one, Abu Hanifa, may Allah have mercy on him. Then we have Imam Malik, may Allah have mercy on him. Imam Shafi, may Allah have mercy on him. And Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal, may Allah have mercy on him. All of them were great scholars. All of them told that they have to go back to Allah and his Rasul. And when we see the fatwas and the teachings, more than 95% is the same. In points where they differed, all of them said that when you find a hadith which is sahih, that is my madhab. Abu Hanifa, may Allah have mercy on him, said, Rahimullah, Imam Shafi, may Allah have mercy on him, he said that. And all the four Imma said that if you find any of my opinion which goes against the book of Allah or the teachings of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, ignore my opinion. So all these ayamas came to educate the Muslim ummah, not to divide them. It is we followers who fight amongst ourselves. The ayamas never fought. They were great scholars. And as I told you, 95% is the same. Where they differ, maybe the hadith didn't reach them. That's what Imam Shafi, Allah, be, Allah Muslim, said. That I have changed my opinion. He, he wrote a book, Kadim and Jadid, al um when he traveled to Egypt, he found many new things. He changed his opinion. So all the scholars, all the ayamas, they wanted to unite the Muslim ummah. It is we followers who are not following the ayamas. The ayamas never said that you divide. All the ayamas said, all the four great ayamas said, that go back to Allah and his Rasul. It is we who fight amongst ourselves. All of them respected the opinion of the other. So if we have to go back to Allah and his Rasul, we have to follow the Quran, and the Sahih Hadith. If we find a difference of opinion, read the Quran and the Hadith. That's what all the four Imma said. If you find my opinion, which is not as per the opinion of Allah and His Rasul, you ignore my opinion. So that's what I'm telling the Muslim Ummah. We should not fight over trivial issues. And even if we differ, you stick to your opinion, I stick to my opinion. We don't fight over it. We don't take out swords. We don't abuse each other. We don't call one another kafir. We have to agree to this. We have to point out our proof. Now, if I show you the proof from Quran, and if you really believe in the Quran, you'll follow. I will show you a hadith. If it's say you'll follow. If there's a different interpretation and we differ, no problem. We agree to disagree with the different opinion. But we should not fight. We should not abuse each other. We should not call one another kafir. Inshallah, if the Muslims are united. Because as we know, major points are same. More than 95% is same. So majority issues we are believing in common. Come to common terms as been us and you. And if you go back to the teachings of Allah, His Rasul, and the Saba, the Tabain, the Tabi Tabain, inshallah, again, we'll be on top of the world. Hope that answers the question. Hey, why to convert to Islam if it is not a peaceful religion? So what and how we have to do it to promote Islam 